Hi, guys. All right, we have a rule. Some, somebody here has to ask me a unique question. One of you, I don't care what it is, just ask me a unique question. When are you starting a fans only page? It's only fans. Thank you, I, have, I already had, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, not, that one's not for me, but I appreciate the unique out of the box question. Very good, very good. Grant, uh, it's been a few minutes since you, from your fight. How, how are you feeling? I feel good, man. Um, I feel like uh, this was one of my best performances. I feel like there was a little smudge on the performance. I think we all know what I'm talking about. But other than that, I think this was one of my best performances. And I think that it's really, uh, it's great to show how much better I'm getting at American Top Team and uh, with my great training partners, great coaches. So uh, it was really great to come in here, take Mark Madsen's O, and show how much better that I'm getting in this sport. How does it feel to take someone's O? He's not the first one, man. Everybody always says, like, oh, he's undefeated, he's undefeated. I, I don't get what that, what that means. Like, I, I can go rattle off, you know. And I'm not saying Mark Madsen is, is that guy. He's fought a lot of really good guys, and he is undefeated because he is a great competitor. competitor. I am just saying that just because somebody's undefeated doesn't mean they're all that good. Um, let, let me add to that. Let me add to that. To... To be a good competitor, you have to beat bad competitors, right? So if you just line up enough bad competitors, it doesn't really make you that good of a competitor, whatever you're competing in. So that's all I'm saying. Again, I'm not talking about Mark because he's a great competitor and he's fought a lot of really good guys. I'm just saying, don't put so much emphasis on somebody being undefeated. That, uh, the weight cut, man. Can you explain what happened? Uh, I got no excuses, man. It was a mistake. It won't happen again. No excuses from me. Um, so you, you you went out there and you out wrestled an Olympic wrestler. Like, does that that's got to feel good, right? <clears throat> yeah, man, uh, it, it feels good. I keep trying to tell people like wrestling and MMA wrestling are two completely different sports. If you're the best ping pong player in the world, it doesn't mean you're going to be very good at tennis. So it, it, they're two completely different sports. They definitely help with each other, but I think I'm one of the best MMA wrestlers in the world. I mean, you, you, you definitely showed it. Um, what was the game plan going in, into that fight? That. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Um, well, afterwards, uh, you knew exactly who you want to fight. You called him out. You called Tony Ferguson. What about that fight interests you? Man, I think the one thing that I am missing on my resume to get the respect from the fans that I think that I deserve is I haven't beat somebody with a huge name, you know. I, I've, beaten undefeated, I've beaten two undefeated guys, three if you count Leonardo Santos, who was undefeated in the UFC, and I still feel like, you know, I'm one of the okay up-and-comers, you know. I want that respect on my name, and, and I'm not upset about it. I understand how this works. I'm not, I'm not upset. I, I get it. But I think a win over Tony Ferguson, I think a finish over Tony Ferguson really stamps my name out there and shows people, hey, this guy's for real. Also, I can't wait to be ranked on Monday. I've been waiting my whole life to get ranked. I'm getting ranked on Monday. You're also getting married soon. Um, do you think you're going to have some good wedding photos? Yeah, I got 15 days. So he didn't, he didn't beat me up too bad. Other than that first 10 seconds, uh, he didn't hit me too bad. You know what the worst punch was, though? Not when he, when he dropped me. I, I got my feet a little confused under me. That's why I fell down. I had his back, and I was trying to choke him, and he just punched like that right on my nose. And I literally almost said, dude, that hurt. And I was like, oh, wait, we're fighting. Like, that's supposed to hurt. Okay, it's fine. Awesome. Con congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. What do you find more annoying, people with bad spatial awareness or social awareness? Thank you. Uh, social awareness, for sure. Do you have an example of someone who's done bad social awareness that you can recall at this moment? <laughs> Maybe me? I what? No, I, that wasn't meant to be you. I was just curious. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was over there on my phone while you guys were waiting for me, so I do feel bad about that. What's the meanest text message you've ever sent? The meanest text message? Dude, I love this. Let's go. The meanest text message I've ever sent. Oh, that's a good one. I don't really, I don't, I can't, I can't remember. I, I'm not sure. That, that's good though. Let's, let's do another one. If Paulo Costa was to open a wine bar, what should he call it? Open a wine bar? Yeah, because he drinks wine, doesn't he? Get to sleep? I don't know. <laughs> if 
they changed the rules of MMA so the ring buzzer didn't go off at 10 seconds but went off at 30 seconds. Do you think that could increase the end of a round, like the output of a round, or would it just confuse people? I think that would confuse people. But towards the end, though, if I'm like, hey, 30 seconds left, that make, that, that make, I like that. That makes a lot of sense. What if we did two? 30 seconds and then 10 seconds and then five seconds. So there's three buzzers. Just have a countdown song. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Well, now I have to follow Oscar, but I've got, I've got one. Would you rather be able to read minds or be invisible? I feel like both are going to get me in trouble. Uh, probably, probably be invisible. There's a reason we shouldn't be able to read each other's minds. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, and last thing, what's your favorite vegetable? Probably my grandpa. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting grounded for sure. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I was going to ask you another one, but... Yeah, yeah that's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. We done? We good? Thank you, guys. Tony Ferguson, fight me.